write a single number sentence or a single expression, okay? First, find the sum of 15 and 5, then divide the result by 4. In other words, don't write two different calculations. Write a single calculation for all of that. First, find the sum of 15 and 5. Sum means addition. So we have 15 plus 5 to do first and then divide the result by 4, okay? Now that makes 20, right? And we need to divide the 20 by 4. So this is what I will do. I'll put this in parentheses to make sure that's done first and then divide by 4, right? That would be 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Another one, subtract the product of 10 and 6 from 100. Now this here, this product of 10 and 6. Product. It means the answer to a multiplication problem. So that means multiply 10 and 6, okay? So let me write that here. 10 and 6, they're multiplied. It's 60. Subtract that from 100. How would you write that? Since you're subtracting from 100, you put it here. 100 minus that, okay? And the multiplication is done first by the order of operations. So we get 100 minus 60 equals 40. Now this last problem might look difficult. What it is, is here's a word problem. And then after that, we need to choose which one of these is the correct calculation for it. Okay, so no, we're not going to calculate all these. There's only one that's correct. Let's read. Jack had to paint 600 feet of fence. He painted 100 feet of it the first day. And the rest equally over the next 10 days. How many feet of fence did he paint each day during those 10 days? Don't look at this yet. Start thinking, what would you do? What would you calculate if you read this? What would you calculate first? Jack had to paint 600 feet of fence and he painted 100 feet the first day. And the rest, okay, the rest is 500 feet. The first thing we do is we subtract 600 minus 100, right? And then we get this 500, 500 feet, the rest of the fence. And then that's done equally. He paints the 500 feet equally over the next 10 days. Can you think of what operation you would use with the 500 feet over the next 10 days. Okay, I already told you there's going to be a subtraction. 600 minus 100. So that makes all of these wrong because there's no subtraction in them. <laughs> okay. And this one doesn't have that subtraction either. Can't be right. So we have three more choices. And after you subtract, then what do you do? You have 500 feet over 10 days, so you should divide, right? Divide that by 10. So we need to have subtraction, then division. And the wrong ones are this one because it's not division. And this one because here you would divide first. By, by the order of operations, division would be done first, then subtraction. Okay, so that's wrong too. And the last one is the winner. You subtract first, then divide. And the answer should be... 50 feet. All right, well done with this lesson.